Sippers, welcome to this episode of the Tea With Me podcast with me, Shane Todd. Before we get into this episode, I need to tell you about our Patreon. It's blowing up over there this Friday. Is that right, Dan? This Friday? Yeah. Stars In Your Eyes special comes out. We're going to talk about that on this episode because I've just watched some of the footage back. Um, that's there and it's glory. We did it in limelight in front of Patreon. 750 people, standing gig, all your favourite comedians. What a night. Um, so that's going to be on there on Friday, exclusive to Patreon. All the usual stuff on there. I could go on about it, but I won't. Patreon.com slash Team With Me Podcast. We are sponsored by none other than Manscaped. Is that right, Dan? Yeah. It's just Manscaped this week? Just Manscaped today. Things not good? We'll talk about it We losing sponsors? Yeah. Manscaped are there through thick and thin. And that's the great thing about Manscaped. Whether you have your pubic region thick or thin, Manscaped are here for you. Go from thick to thin. Not like weight, you know what I mean? But just, uh, well, if you're carrying weight, in your pubes, which people could. Manscaped. William. That's their new slogan. Um, Manscaped are the number one in men's below the belt grooming. Look, these guys have all sorts. You try telling your dad about this, you know? Or you even say to yourself from 10 years ago, there's going to be a company that are doing things like, uh, you know, ball toner, clear groin shaving gel. They've got um, the Lawnmower 5.0 which is uh, an electric razor for doing all your bits, which um, I, before I went to Dubai, I made myself really smooth, you know? Because that they, they, they hate that. How smooth? L- like, I put it this way, if there was a, if there was like a, a shiny floor and you, for some reason, for some reason, if the airport officials in Dubai had decided to take, uh, you know, kind of cartoons, like take one grip of my belt and the other of like round the back of me and then you know this analogy and then take it like grab me by the scruff at the back and then throw me like slid me across the floor I'd have just gone and gone I'd probably end up in a different emirate like uh, one of the other uh, one of the other ones <laughs> which one? Oh man, is that another emirate? it's a country ah find out right in tell us um, Manscaped are the number one immense below the belt room and if, you're, if you've got a holiday coming up anything like that their travel uh, package is amazing. Performance package. The performance package, even that's even better. Go to manscaped.com, use the code with me for 20% off free shipping. Dan, is that over a minute? It'll do. Great, we need more sponsors. <sighs> My guest this week is a um, Scottish comedian, a guy who I've known of for a long time. We've actually never gigged together, which, no, is, which, not, which no. is wild. Uh, know, Mark wild. Nelson and Willie T. Hello. Um, have you guys gigged together? I yeah, know, have, have we? we? We met. Oh, friend, thank God you both are doing that. Because <laughs> yeah. if one of you was like, we definitely have. No, I think. <laughs> yeah, we, we met. shared a flat <laughs> <laughs> for five years. <laughs> Works my dad. And <laughs> no, we met for the first time in the Monkey Barrel Bar in the Fringe. Yeah, so we did. Yes, yeah, with Vittorio. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. That, yeah. But yeah, yeah, we don't think we've gigged together. No. no, there's not many comedians like working comedians that you haven't done a gig with. But it'll be a beautiful time when three of us do. You're doing limelight tonight in Belfast? I am, I am well excited, man. How long have you been coming over to Belfast, gigging? Eh, uh, God, I've been coming over. I came over quite early on to do the Empire, pretty early on in my career. Because the Empire always had this kind of uh, mystique about it. I like it was, it was a, a bit proper rough bear pit. bear pit of a gig. And then you come over and you go... This is a piece of piss. And then you realise, oh, it's the English acts that are saying this. I was going to say, yeah. like, yeah. if you're from here, you're from down south, you're Scottish, it's like a home gig. Oh, it was lovely, yeah. But I I, I, there, I don't know what it is, but when English comedians, it's different now, it's nicer now, yeah. but when English comedians came on, they had to be you know, five seconds, yeah. really, to kill. Do you I don't, know why it is? Because they're shite. <laughs> 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 but it's like... <laughs> it's sweeping to all English comedians I want it known all English comedians are maybe one good one you can't yeah, exactly. you can't <laughs> but like you know stand up here they quite like aggressiveness yes. anyway so anyone comes on doing that like oh I'm dead awkward and all we don't yeah, go for it yeah, I, 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 I remember doing my third gig or something in the Empire and it went alright but one of the first ones I did there if you if you lose the audience for more than like a few seconds, mm. you're done. And I've had that happen to me there, and it is the worst because it's 350 people yeah. chatting amongst themselves. Uh, it's the worst feeling in the world. But that's worse than anyone heckling. See, when people go, "I was heckling the worst thing," I would far rather an entire room shouting shit at me than, than indifference. People just ignoring you. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Complete apathy is oh, the fucking yeah, worst. Like, so when would you like roughly like when would that have been like when you were first coming? Hey, uh, so this would be I reckon around about. 2010 right maybe 2010 2012 yeah 
it was about the first kind of time I started coming over here. Remember going away? Like, what, what was your first ever gig outside of here? That time we went to Edinburgh, I think. Over a tour show? Yeah. We love, like, not just saying this, when we, Willie comes on tour with me usually, and Scotland is always our best shows and our best time. Always. Yeah, they're good, aren't they? Yeah, always yeah, yeah, yeah. so, so good, every yeah. time. I think that may have been the first time. Exclu- are we talking, like, out of Northern Ireland? Or yeah, 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 of Ireland? yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I used to drive to, like, Letterkenny and Galway for shows all the time, like, right. school the next day. And I'm doing <laughs> yeah. fucking three hour drives down the Limerick back home and then yeah. up in two hours to go to school. Yeah. Those would have been the first and they were fucking brutal. Yeah. What it, was it? Yeah, that's funny were though. Were you school when? Yeah, when I started, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I was about seven, 17. Yeah. Yeah, because the first time I met Kieran, that's the story. He, he loves that. That when he, he meets... was driving his van down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're my girlfriend's class. I'm joking. I'm so joking. So joking. She was a few years below me. Because but... <laughs> he met me. He goes, What are you at tomorrow? And I was like, Double politics. He was like, oh, Very funny. I was like, No, Jam Miley. I'm like, I'll show you my timetable. Because yeah. wow. I have my uniform in my bag. I was like, What age you start sounding about, Mark? I was quite late actually, I was 26. Oh, okay. Yeah, 26 when I first started. And are you Glasgow? Glasgow, aye. aye. And is that where you, where you started? Yeah, yeah, It's It's yeah, great, yeah. like we always talk about how similar the scenes are and the comedians are. Yeah, I've been saying that most of the time, like when I've been over here, like Glasgow, Belfast, it doesn't feel like... And Liverpool. That, aye, Liverpool, exactly. Yeah. I don't know, there must be something about dock towns. Genuinely, we've yeah. talked about, someone explained that to me before, someone like, who was smart and I didn't really retain at all, aye. other than... It's like port cities, shipping towns. Docks. Yeah, yeah. So there's like a working, a rooted working class yeah. humour. I don't know what it. Newcastle kind of. Do. Yeah, Newcastle would be there. Yeah. Um, but I like, like going to Scotland feels like uh like a home crowd. Yeah. I gigged in um Dubai last weekend for the first time. Have you done Middle East? I have. I. Where? Where? Uh, where? So I did. I did the two. I think I've done like three different tours of the Middle East. I did Abu Dhabi. Dubai. Is it funny if you said that, Fun. people would assume you're a soldier. You're like, I know. just on a tour <laughs> yeah. of the Middle East. <laughs> yeah. I killed. Tell you, <laughs> some, of, some of those gigs are fucking easier being over there. You're but like, man, I bombed so hard. Ah, like, oh, too much information. <laughs> um, where I did got you stoned. Go? Where, uh, did you... <laughs> <laughs> where did you go the first time over there? Uh, that was just, that was Dubai. Yeah. yeah. And it's mental because like, I remember you, you were told various different things that you couldn't say. Like, they were like, yeah, Swearing was fine. Sexual stuff was fine. Don't mention the royal family at all. And don't theirs, me- yeah. yeah, yeah, and don't mention religion, yeah, yeah at yeah. all, yeah. And I didn't really have any kind of stuff about that anyway. But there was guys. I remember guys standing at the back, like poli- policemen standing at the back of gigs, making sure no one crossed the line. That will make you feel comfortable. It's fucking. I put you at ease. And then I did that. I did a really, stu- <laughs> really fucking stupid thing. Where I don't even know why I did it. Uh, I think it was the second time I went out. The first night I went out and did the gigs. The gigs went great, and then we went out drinking afterwards. And I'd taken like because you can't buy drink there. There's yeah. no shops or anything. So you need to buy it all at the airport. So you're fucking loading your suitcase with shit. So I had like bottles of wine and stuff, and beers. And I had a beer, and uh, I'd put it right. I'd put it. In, you get in the room. There's a copy of the Quran, and I'd put the beer just beside the Quran, and I'd tweeted like. Just about to start this bad boy. Anyone recommend the best bits? Right, <laughs> and within seconds, I had about a hundred messages going. Delete that immediately because you will be beheaded by the morning. Like you cannot put a fucking beer on the Quran. <laughs> so. Did you delete it? I fucking yeah. Yeah, I deleted it. <laughs> like most of the stuff I will keep up, but that was one I was like, yeah. well, I can't really defend this. I got that thing of like what you sort of can and can't talk about. And it really breaks down to just like common sense. It's like, mm. just don't be disrespectful of yeah. this thing while you're here. Yeah. Um, but I started like, cause I don't really, I'm not edgy at all, but I started having like thoughts during it where I was like, what if I just say something mental? Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. that just comes out of my mouth, something mental. Yeah. But it's, um, it's funny how like, you know, it's all people, like so many people from Ireland were at the show, but everyone's just like, you know, say you would have four drinks at a show. Yeah. They're having two. You know what I mean? Like, they're just Aye. a little bit, like... A bit more reserved. Uh, yeah. What did yeah. you think of the place? Like, Dubai as a place? I've been before. What's wild is, I, uh, the day of the show, I went indoor skiing with real snow and then had a Costa. <laughs> it's fucking mad. Isn't that nuts? Yeah. 
Like that was the weirdest thing about it where I was sitting having a cost going, I should probably explore different parts of this culture yeah. instead of just doing what I would be doing. Did you have at home? Oh, you'd be indoor skiing at home? No, I'd be having a Costa. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know me, you can't stop indoor skiing. Here, outdoor skiing. Um, you do look like you'd be a bad guy in a skiing movie. Oh, yeah. I would love that. Yeah, what are you doing on this mountain? That would be you. You'd be a wee to- towel boy in the lodge. No, I'd be the underdog of the movie. Has to beat you in a big race at the end. Yeah. And I win. No, you wouldn't. I win. would. No. Nah. Because it's my movie. Yeah. You can't have a movie where the bad guy wins. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. What movie? Um. Oh, um. Fuck off, Will. <laughs> <laughs> there is, there's definite movies where, like. You do a movie podcast, you should be all over this. I'm trying to think, there must be a film where the bad guy yeah. wins. So. So. Oh, so I was thinking, like, good. sports movies, like underdog movies. <laughs> I wasn't going Well, cool, cool Rollins. They don't win. Yeah, but there's no bad guy there, is there? Yeah, there is. The there establishment. Is racism. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the movie. Racism wins. That's, the, that's my favourite Disney movie. <laughs> so joking. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, I, I, I loved it. Like, it was just fun to just be there and do mm. a gig. It's it's a mad... Pl- you've never been to you? In the Middle East? No. It's mad, like, Dubai itself as a city is just... It's just not. We went, uh, me and my wife had a layover there, like, for three days on our honeymoon before going to Thailand and my friend used to live there he used to be a teacher over there and I told him the hotel we were staying in and he just went fuck and it was <laughs> it was a hotel that had a brothel in the basement so every night we'd be coming in having a romantic time and you'd just see these guys with women sat on their knees and then <laughs> you kind of at that point because you're on your honeymoon you're like I, I don't really want to have any sex here because yeah. I know what's going on down there. Yeah. So yeah. I'm just going to leave you to it and go and join those lads. Just like we, <laughs> we. <laughs> I was going to say, were you not raging? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your wife was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you look like a wee guy be sat, sat in the corner of a brothel with an inhaler. Yeah, I'm not even just have yeah. a beer, not even yeah. do anything. I just yeah. like the atmosphere. They play good songs in here. And one yeah. beer you're driving, you just yeah. call in yeah. for a drink. Yeah, brothel. I'm like the norm of the. The only guy watching sports highlights <laughs> on the telly. <laughs> And they're like, can we get WrestleMania on that? <laughs> <laughs> Crystal's a big Goldberg fan. <laughs> Goldberg. <laughs> this guy loves wrestling. Yeah. Love wrestling. Crystal, my seven foot four girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I look like the guy would go to Thailand and get a girlfriend who's double his height. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. hundred percent. Yeah, I've never been to Thailand. Like we've talked about it in the pod before. It's not somewhere I, 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 I think I'd be natural in my environment. Too much going on, I think. I. Like it's, a little bit wild. It is wild. Aye. Yeah, and you see you see that. You see that at the airport when you're coming back. You see like broken people. G- g- no, but like Ed- women edgy men. women saying goodbye to their families while some elderly British bloke is fucking right. <laughs> well, I'm not I'm like, I'm like, I'm a taxi booked here, fucking kiss grandma goodbye because it's the last time you're seeing her. <laughs> You're about to move into a two-bedroom flat in Wigan. Yeah, exactly. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> and they love that they like they're buzzing for it. <laughs> I, 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 like this is this this is so shitty of me, right? When I see what I assume, and it's wrong to assume, when I see a 74-year-old guy in like Hollywood here or whatever with a 26-year-old, I'm assuming Thai bride, mm. I burst out laughing every time. I can't help it. Yeah. I'm like. And, and then you'll get a dirty look. Yeah. And it's like, this is the minimum you should... Ex- I should be allowed to yeah. at least... La- you're getting to have... You're a pensioner. You're yeah. an ugly pensioner. Yeah. You have a young type... Right? The, you know, the offshot of that is, I should be allowed to like have a laugh at that a bit. Oh, yeah. I mean, who like who they try to kid? It's like, like, it's it's like old guys with like the ba- like a bad wig or hair transplant. Yeah. You know, that, you should be allowed a little bit of a giggle. Do they ever say anything? No, you're just like I've I've more than once I've like even just a, like a laugh on my face that I can't control and you will cuz those guys are looking at you like what? And you're like no, why are you even saying yeah, yeah, what? Yeah. Yeah. Like we know the crack here. Yeah. Like, I guess you like, like this not? is my wife. Yeah. She's a slave. <laughs> <laughs> she makes shoes in my shed. How dare you assume? She, she bought me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think there's like young Thai women who are like, I just need like a British yeah. or Irish coming over here scouting fat care guy. homes? <laughs> <laughs> just a wee frame, like a hard shaped frame. There's just an old man in it, like shirtless on a bed of beach. 
this is Desmond. It's the man of my dreams. She's like, yeah, come over here, please. I'll send you money and all. He's like, all right, babe. He's like, babe, I need money. I need money for pints for Weathersburg. She's doing her best to just send all her money. He's sitting in the bookie waiting for the transaction to come through. <laughs> Fucking hell, Waylon, come on. <laughs> Race starts in three minutes. She's like, I nearly did an accent. She's like, I'm working so hard to support his Akas. <laughs> How scoundered would you have been if your grandma came in, though, like, and was like, here's my new wife? And just a wee You'd have to respect in? it. You'd have to respect it. Like, it, it, it's so wild that the idea that, that that could happen. Yeah. You know? But I, I've never met, I, I, there's no family, I don't think, or no. anyone I know that well that's done that. Because it's, it's such a fuck it move. Because, like, everyone's going to know what the thing is, but, but you're just happy enough. How would, like, your grandma going, you know, I've been awful lonely since your grandmother passed, and yeah. I just need some company. Here's Mulan. Yeah. And it's the wee Thai woman comes in. I don't know <laughs> yeah. how I'd feel. Yeah. It'd be weird. Yeah. Sit and have an afternoon sandwiches with your granda. Yeah. And it's a Thai bride. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, I, 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 like, because it used to be, like, they, you know, it was like meal order and stuff like that. You know, like, <laughs> But now, like, the reality shows nowadays where, yeah. you, where you follow it, like 90 Day Fiancé and all that. Oh, the guy I looks like me in it. Shit. We Ed. Big Ed. Have you seen him in 90 no. Day Fiancé? Just a guy with no neck at all. Dan, <laughs> can we bring up, please, God, can we bring up Ed, 90 Day Fiancé? He yeah. literally is, is like, Hold on, I'll just get on his phone. shoulders. And it's so cringy because he keeps, like, the girl's clearly there for it, the I get money. It. And he's getting all, like, hoggy and kissy with her in public. And she's like, don't touch me. Oh, he's like, God. I love you so much, baby. I love you. And she's like, no, here he is. No. Here he is. <laughs> <Will> he t- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Me if I don't stop drinking milk. <laughs> you got a fuss? Yes. All right. <laughs> they had to stop the mail order. Bright thing. What is that? There's too many of them dying in the post. <laughs> Uh, oh, that's what that ITV show was about, wasn't it? The post office drama. Full scandal. Just, just a guy opening packages. Another one. Fucking <laughs> how many? He's being accused of stealing meal order rights. <laughs> I got obsessed. I got obsessed with 90 Day Fiance. It's one of those shows like you shouldn't. It shouldn't be allowed. You're like, no one in this show is of the right frame of mind. What's the concept of the show? I've never seen it. Somebody from like. America or the UK would be speaking to someone online from a different country. Right. And they would do this thing where they would get married, but I don't think it was a real marriage. And they would go to that place for 90 days. So this guy from America has been speaking to this girl in a village in Brazil, and they would document him actually going over and meeting her for the first time. They'd spend 90 days together, and then at the end, he would have like the option to bring her back. That is good. Whatever. But it was just like no, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> free holiday. <Yeah. laughs> Nobody was on the, of the right frame of mind. No, no, no. Everyone was. Every guy you're on it, you're going, you dirty bastard. Yeah. But you almost feel sorry for them. They're so depraved of any love, and you yeah. see them, and you're like, I get yes. why you're kind of fucking stinking. Yes. But it's just pure desperate men. Yeah. That's so sad. I can't. I don't watch reality TV anymore. I just get too into it. Do you, you know, know what what I mean? the traitors? The traitors is good. No. That is good. That's we're, the one I'll still... We are talking about that recently. We're like, the, I watched the first episode of the first season and they went, rank yourself in order of where mm. you think you'll come in this. And a guy being like really dead on was like, I'll put myself last because they were trying to make this wee old lady Yeah, she was going to be last. And he's like, I stand last, but you clearly think he thought he was going to win. Uh, and then he stood last and they just went, they get chucked out. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> so I liked that, but I was like, I, 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 I struggle to watch like, you know, like cruel stuff, or you know what I mean? Yeah, Where like, yeah, 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 yeah. I just yeah. feel bad for these people. That seems what that show is. That's, those are but it's massive, favorites. isn't it? Oh, ever, it's huge, yeah. I've seen My 600 Pound Life. Mm-mm. Oh, it's just really fat people trying to lose weight. That's oh, amazing. Yeah. It's because they're like, oh, I don't know why I'm so fat. And then just cuts to them, like, bin in like a four, like a 12 piece fry. Yeah. At two in the morning. It's fucking outstanding. Yeah. Nah, I can't watch anything like that. Mark, you done uh, TV stuff? Yeah, 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 yeah. I've done. Well, I've not. I've not done like a <laughs> no, not six hundred pound no, life. No, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> not, not that. I just uh, <laughs> yeah. Like what? Uh, like if you done stuff in Scotland or yeah, I host like a, I host a thing every Fringe where we do. It's called Edinburgh Unlocked, where it's like uh, it's basically it's just covering the, the Fringe. Yeah, and you just uh, yeah yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's going about trying those. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> 
can't believe they've given us a third series. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's really low budget, just you and your mate in the calm corner. <laughs> <laughs> so what is what is Edinburgh on? It's just me going about like, basically reviews of the not reviews, but like a kind of recap of the fringe. So right. I'll meet various different people and meet various different shows, and I'll I did I interviewed I was telling Willie I interviewed Frank Skinner this year for it, and uh, yeah, it's class. It's a good thing I did you on the fringe because you meet some you meet some fucking mental people as well. The fringe, <laughs> of course. Well, that's what the fringe is. Yeah. And and sometimes at the fringe you look around and go, I think everyone in this city right now is mental, bar me, and then yeah. you realise you're more mental than anyone. Yeah, I am. it's, it's fabulous too. watching the breakdown of some people, like because, like some people, particularly like folk that come up. I don't know how people manage to spend that amount of money, but you can see by the third week the realisation in their face of going, I have lost everything. Yeah. Like, yeah, I have, yeah. I'm, I'm done. I'm yeah. absolutely done. I bet on myself yeah. and have lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, a st- it's the start of the third week, isn't it's, it? Oh, it's so wonderful. It's, it's a, a Monday. Amazing, it's a, yeah. the last Monday of the Fringe. Yeah, yeah. Where people go like, I'm not going to be a giant star. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And do you know what? There's nothing better than I root for all my mates in comedy. Uh, always and that's what I think is so good about the scene here and it's like that in Scotland mm. it's like at Liverpool but there is nothing better than being tucked up in bed three weeks into the fringe and just watching Instagram stories where you read duvet over your head and be like oh, oh I know everyone's having a terrible time and I'm just in bed that's watching brilliant. 90 Day Fiance and that's the stage <laughs> where you've been drinking so much that your body's literally like poisoned at the idea of beer yeah. but you also get the shakes if you don't have it. and everyone has a medieval disease yeah like yeah. this guy at yeah. trench foot you know yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was what amazed me when remember when they cancelled it for Covid yeah. And they were saying we don't want people in these rooms catching anything. Yeah. And like, have you seen these fucking rooms? They're medieval. It like, really is like many dungeons. One, one venue Mickey's I had started in yellow yeah. by the end of it. And the then wall went to <laughs> My venue, the wall leaks. Right. Like, how does it. I've yeah. like checked pipes and everything. Yeah. But the wall's leaking. Yeah. Like, there's just fucking growths coming out of there. Yeah. Jesus. Oh, it's but, so. But being wow. from Scotland, you probably, yeah, like you say, like, see comedians come over thinking, like, this is yeah. my destiny. Yeah. I'm going to have the, the best fringe. Yeah. And then at the end, I'll be a star. And yeah. I'll make yeah, all yeah, this yeah. money. And it just does. Like, you just find out just for this, you might have a mate who has a free uh, space in his apartment so you can stay there saving me and about four or five grand I, people don't understand that literally saving you like yeah. thousands of yeah. pounds and I just got my room today as well so yeah, it's all good it's did all good you, to see you at the fringe did you drink every day at the fringe? not every day but a lot of it <laughs> yeah but it got but he took smack on the days he yeah. wasn't drinking yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> are we level or <laughs> Honestly, people think the wild, like the most unhealthy thing you'll be doing is drinking. One time, I double accidentally double ordered a KFC. Yeah. So ordered a Zinger box meal. Accident, accidentally hey, ordered it twice. You didn't have to eat it. Yeah. <laughs> you could have I explained. Did. You could have explained the mistake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't realize till I got there and they gave. Could me have like given like the homeless guy. No? I would have done that. No, fuck that. I ate both of them. Right. Homeless guys. <laughs> <laughs> Edinburgh we're unlocked. Yeah. Let's, go in. Let's make cannibalizing the homeless. But that was my lowest point. <laughs> was I accident? It's a really controversial plan <laughs> to deal with a homeless problem in Scotland. <laughs> get get Willie just Willie with an appetite. <laughs> yeah. And then I'm going, don't know why my stomach's bad these days. But I accidentally had two KFCs and I ate both of them. So yeah. it was like two Zinger box meals and I'd ordered extra hot wings because I love KFC wings. Yeah. They don't agree with me, but I'll eat them anyway. And then for two hours was stuck on. Have you ever been constipated and have diarrhea at the same time? Can I just say this? Is, this is mental to say a complete, not complete non segue. I just had an out of body experience where I was watching this podcast there, and I was thinking about you know like James English podcasts where it's like full gangsters being like, I got shot through the eye, yeah. and then yeah. the, later that night I was out. I was out at a disco. Yeah, I just had a moment there where you were like picturing all this dramatic music and pew, all this glass breaking and you're like I accidentally ordered two KFCs <laughs> and I love the hot wings but they do not agree with me I was like, Shh, big clickbait like bull stuff like William's addiction yeah. people always know. say you hit a low point <laughs> that was it for me yeah. yeah when I was eating beans with a wing as a spoon <laughs> it was a low point <laughs> Make yourself feel better because I ordered one bit of corn. Yeah. I was like, good, I'll get my nutrients in. Putting butter on it. Oh, good. I remember one year taking a, going up Arthur's seat with a couple of mates. I was mm. like, you know what? We'll get away from the city. We'll go up Arthur's seat. 
It's like a small mountain, and that's how you describe yeah, it. Yeah, it's not. It's not like a Monroe or anything. Like big that. hill. It's, it's a big hill, yeah. So I was like, me, Dave Elliott, and Aaron McCann. I went, boys, we'll go up Arthur Street, get a nice bit of fresh air, and it was like a beautiful day. You could have made a full epic Hollywood movie out of it. See, just trying to get the boys over the line and up to the summit. Now, it takes about 25 minutes to get up Arthur Street. I had to give Dave all these pep talks. Like, Dave (laughs) sat down and he could see the summit. Dave all these Pepsis. (laughs) (laughs) So I was like, have have (laughs) us be hydrated. (laughs) And I was like, Dave, and there was cameos. Like, Jim Owen was popping up the past this journey at one point. And I was like, Dave, I was like, you can do this. And he's like, no, I'm just going back down. I went, look, you'll feel better. Trust me, I was like, you got to do it. And then when we got near the summit, Dave just broke into a full sprint and did like a full like, ah, hands up at the top. It was great. <laughs> but everyone's mental at the French. Oh, like, everybody's you, you mental. You go insane. It's, it's also because you're walking that much, my cerebral palsy gets fucking worse. So at the start of the fringe, no one believes I have it. And then by the end of it, they're like, oh God, you're worse than you think. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, what's that disease in uh, Game of Thrones, Grayscale? Yeah. Where you get it a little bit at the start, and then by the end, they're like, he's more disability than man at this point. Yeah. Because I'm just walking about, just fucking... Yeah, Edinburgh's not built for this guy three weeks into the French. No. The hills. No. It's because everything's uphill. Uphill and cobbled. Yeah. No joke, would you get a mobility scooter? I'm not even joking. Nah, because I'm, car- I'm carrying a bit of... Willie, please? No, I'm carrying a bit of weight at the minute, so people aren't going to think it's because of cerebral palsy. <laughs> they're going to think it's because I'm too KFC's so down. Just a, la- just a lazy just- cunt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love to see you beating about the fringe on a meep meep on a wee mobility scooter. Excuse me. Yeah. Going to wings for the second time that day. <laughs> that's my that's why I go to the fringe. I spend ten grand just so I can go to that place. It's a fucking beautiful restaurant. Um Mark, where are you on the tour at the minute? Like you Belfast tonight, you start to- This is it. So I've done four. I did four in November in Scotland. And then this is the first one of the like the big leg of it. Right. In Belfast tonight, aye. I've had that with like a big break in between. I hate the break in between. Sometimes you have to. Yeah, I think it was more because I was never going to do it over kind of December, Christmassy time. Yeah. And then January. I think it was, it was just the way it worked out. And then the four, it was nice to do the four just to kind of test the water. Yeah. And see yeah. what it's like. And so where you do you got Belfast, you know, Dublin? Belfast tonight, Cork tomorrow, and then Dublin on Sunday. Class. And then all over the. Everyone's England. coming. Like, this is, I think, the first year where. Everyone's coming to Belfast. It's, right, it's great. You've yeah. got people coming left your voice when you went to England. They're all over England. <laughs> 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 but Limelight's great. Like, like Limelight, Lavery's like everyone's bringing their tour show, yeah. show over. Like yeah. people had, were coming over and curious about here mm-hmm. and hearing about it. But now, like everybody's over. I think it's a lot to do with like how well you are all doing as a scene. I yeah, think. Like, yeah, it, yeah. It gets noticed over in the UK because you're like that fucking hell. Yeah. Man, Plus, I like to think it's like. Welcoming too, you yeah, know, like comedians yeah, yeah, yeah. will share your posts. Oh, and aye, all absolutely, that kind of stuff. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's because I like I know some people in some scenes are like it, but the entire scenes like that here, we just want everyone to do well. Yeah, a rising tide lifts all yeah. chips. Well, if you go to a show and there's like, if you're going to a festival and there's, <laughs> is that right? I think so. Oh, a, ri- a rising yeah. tide lifts all ships. Yeah. yeah, I like I like the conviction you said it with as yeah. well. <laughs> a rising tide lifts. I put it on all. t-shirts and there's dot 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 in between all the words. <laughs> the ships is on the back. <laughs> but it's like, would you rather pay money to go to a festival where there's four shit bands that you don't know and one headliner, or go to one where you know every band there? One where you know every band there. Yeah, ex- exactly. That's what I mean. Though no, that's. But that's what it should be comedy wise, where it's like, oh, I may not even be a fan of that guy, but I know him. Yes. And it's good he's on the with a guy aye, I like. Aye. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Whereas I think other scenes see it as like, oh, there's only one spot. Yeah. You can there can only be yeah, one. I, yes. Yeah, they're all yeah. epic and all. Yeah, they're like yeah. Highlander. Yeah, they're yeah. like they're like medieval movies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're all like sword in the stone. Yeah, yeah. That's what they think of comedy. Aye. Yeah. And we're like, it's just a big banquet and all the boys are eating. Exactly. Yeah. Um, Plus, it's a better laugh if you're yeah. with everyone you like. I've, yeah, you have done gigs where everyone doesn't get on and you're sitting backstage and no one's speaking. You're like, this is not fun. Yeah. Or you walk in if you've never been there and like no one's talking to you. Oh, so God, you go yeah. on feeling like a complete alien. Like, what yeah. do you like as a... So when me and Willie go on tour, we have we have a routine by now. We know what the crack is. Yeah. Um, at the end of the show, like William loves, loves a pint, right? He loves a pint. I, you know what I like better than that? Going to bed. Hmm. Um, what, what, sending me away for a pint and going to bed? So that's what I do. I, I, I will like send William off and it's like getting someone ready for school. After the gig, I, you know, 
clean his wee cheek, yeah. make sure he's okay, straighten his, straighten in the his jacket. <laughs> yeah. Not anymore. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 Once I started asking for any stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'll ask him to do it himself. Right? So I'm like hands free. Um, and then I send him off into the night. I get a few people. People are, oh, Shane, are you coming out for a pint? And I go, I'm not. Mm-hmm. But I'm but sending yeah, the, I'm sending a, 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 a an delicate. envoy. An envoy. Yeah. yeah. Sending an envoy out. Um, so, but we usually eat in the same places and we got into a real habit of basically we were traveling with Calvin our, our mate who's a mm-hmm. videographer Calvin's a member of David Lloyd Gyms right, so, so we were can... doing a lot of swimming we were doing a lot of gymming we are playing British Bulldogs in the fucking outdoor pool in Bristol that was the highlight of the tour <laughs> we, we uh, devised this water game it's like water uh, aqua British Bulldogs if you will and uh not much to it, really. You would someone would just uh, be in the middle of the pool. You try yeah, to get past them, yeah, yeah. but it was excellent. Um, we also had a game where someone had just left a tennis ball in the swimming pool. We were the only ones there, really. Um, and we would uh, this great game where we would <laughs> someone threw the tennis ball at the wall to start of the David Lloyd's, and uh, that left a wet mark. And then the game, you just tried to hit, get as close to that as you could. Oh yeah, we were there for about an hour. Yeah. It was unbelievable. Also um, playing British Bay Logs though, when you tried to stop me, I turned into like a captured ferret. Yeah, this guy, cerebral palsy must like, it's like heavy. It's the, do you, does that make sense? So he's like a condensed wee guy. Mm. Uh, and I was like, I saw Willie walking towards me, I'm the, I'm the bulldog in the middle. I was like, he's not getting, thou shall not pass. Mm. Willie just, he just like, do you know he's like a, a wee uh, thing that clears snow? <laughs> oh really? Just, a what? Snowplow. You're like an eel. He's a wee human <laughs> snowplow. What, you're sitting in the snow with your eels out? <laughs> <laughs> That's what they do in Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> See well, the snow out there? <laughs> no problem. <laughs> yeah. Now so your driveway's covered in snow and there's dead eels everywhere. <laughs> But we like we eat in the same places and all that. So what I'm saying is like, what do you like on tour? What's like a day like on your I tour? I don't know yet because this is my first one. So your first tour? That's my first ever tour. So I don't. I, I've not found the routine yet. I will struggle not to go out for pints. I know during I, the I, day. I, you mean? Oh no! For fuck's sake, man! <laughs> <laughs> you mean Time after the show? Jesus Christ! <laughs> I think I think more people will go out drinks after the show than don't. You know? I, I yeah, think I'm weird that but I you don't. You can't. I mean, like it's not going to be. That's why, like, for a lot of them, I'm going to take the car. When yeah. I can drive back, so you can drink and drive. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I'm, much, I'm a much better driver. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've, like I like that. Like for some of the England thing, we did a rental car. Ah, and we just drove in between the cities, and it was great. Like, yeah. yeah. But that's, I love that's when a show goes well. That's when you really want the pint. I know because you're like, oh, let's keep this going. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, it, yeah. It never, it never ends up like you think it's gonna be. Nah, and it's not because by the time you're off stage and it's not all it's cracked. At, like going for drinks with a crowd. Yeah. At some point, you do, you cl- catch a glimpse of yourself and you go, oh, Jesus. Do you know what? It's all fucking... good, bar one guy. Aye. Yeah. There's always one guy who will, like, everyone's sweet. You come up, you have a chat, you get a photo, no problem. What do you, uh, do you like your show about? Then there's one guy who'll say, I want to get a chat with you about something. Aye. See, as soon as yeah. you hear that, that's yeah. 17 minutes. You're never getting yeah. back. Aye. Guys, like, I'm thinking of starting, like, a carpet business. You coming in on this? You know, oh, it's always... <laughs> It's always like something. Or it's someone's a PR company. It's like, oh, I work in a cheese factory and we think it'd be good if you just came down for the day. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What? We can get just, you some cheese. Yeah, yeah, don't pay you. That's good material, yeah, cheese. Just, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Just stand by the cheese. <laughs> yeah. it'd, be, it'd be good exposure for you. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to come down to this well, mozzarella I factory. Well, i the cheese community. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, uh, and you're like, and I can't have, uh, I can't have dairy and this guy's just cut it out because he's shitting seven times a day yeah i didn't think that wasn't normal if you cut, if you cut dairy out yeah he yeah. uh, had a cappuccino this morning he did he, he i didn't know there's milk in it yeah i didn't know that yeah i found out now and i can't have that yeah you didn't know there was milk in cappuccinos nope no nope. what did you think it was coffee just really frothy coffee i thought it was coffee. white coffee yeah. Fo- i thought they did something to it to make it foamy i didn't know <laughs> yeah they do they <laughs> add milk <laughs> <laughs> but i thought it was magic i thought it was like barista magic i didn't know do you know what the- <laughs> The, there was milk in it. <laughs> Do you know what, one of the best things I like as well? If you're in a different city and you find a good arcade entertainment centre. <gasps> yeah. <gasps> Playing pool. Now this relies on having someone with you. You go there by yourself, sad. Pool. I'll go alone. Aye, I'll... Arcade I've games. I'll complete House of the Dead 3 by myself. Oh, Thank you very much. Ima- imagine you're in the arcade that day coming to your show that night and there's a mistake around you. I'm going to see William Thompson and then you're having lunch 
and you can see Willie <laughs> for an hour and a half yeah. <laughs> playing. <laughs> That's mad. Yeah. yeah. Do a show all about how <laughs> disability is difficult and I'm not there. Five, six, yeah. seven, eight. Man's <laughs> cha cha sliding the whole way through your toasty. Like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, the burger while I do it too. <laughs> I remember I did a gig. I did a gig in Stevenage. I remember it because there was the hotel was right next to like a big, massive retail kind of park. And uh, I had I had the, the whole day off till I went to the next gig. And I ended up, I went uh, 10 pin bowling. We and then that. I went to a pool bit, and then I went to Nando's, yeah. and I was like, I've just taken myself on like a teenage date. Like, <laughs> you went bowling by yourself. I, I, I sat, but I, do you know what? Because I love ten pin. I need a break. I love it, but, but I need it a break. Was, oh my god! Like even I was kind of going, "This is," because I was standing there. So it was about midday. I mean, it wasn't even midday. It was eleven, yeah. and I was sitting. There was like either side. There was kids' birthday parties, and then there was just me bowling by myself, drinking Stella. And I was like, oh, it was like a dad that only gets his kids at the weekend. But even now, the kids have not turned up. Like, just like well, I've booked the lane. I'm fucking your new stepmom. Yeah. Um, I like that is what we do. Yeah, bowling. Bit of pool and Nando's. Like right. that is literally like yeah, that is class. what it involves. If I'm by myself, I'll try and find a cinema in the city. Fun I don't know what I did it once. I went to see Ghost Rider. Yeah. Nicholas Cage. In London, central London, in an Orion. It was like eleven o'clock. Like the sad time to go and do yeah. things when you're a traveling comedian. Yeah. It was like eleven AM, went to see Ghost Rider Two, hadn't seen the first one. Yeah. And, and even uh, the staff are looking at you like, What are you doing? Yeah. Here? But the cinema held like say it was like a smaller one, said so held like sixty. I go in, sitting by myself movie starts one Asian guy comes in where does he sit one seat away from me <laughs> one seat away like gap him nobody else and I swear to god anything that happened in the movie because like an action movie yeah. anything that happened he would go wow <laughs> and nod at me and I'm like yes mate and see the first three times all good by the end absolutely mental and I've told this story before we walked out of the cinema at the same time all this guy had said wow 300 times as we're walking out, there's like an incident where I'm pretty sure a guy on a scooter, this is central London, tries to steal a phone off somebody, like from here to the boys away, just up the street. Mm -hmm. It goes wrong, the guy drives on. I looked at the guy being like, fuck, if he thought, wow, yeah. Nicholas Cage did a wheelie on a motorbike, wait for this, he just went, walked on. I was like, that doesn't get a wow. <laughs> Never saw him again. You should follow him, see if he went to a restaurant, and just sit opposite him yeah. at the table, yeah. come down the menu. Wow. That, like, I, that, I, I hate that etiquette. Want. I had a similar thing again fucking Stephen and exactly the same bit <laughs> one of the nights the Friday night gig the gig was on a Friday night and it finished and uh, I went to I was going to go to the cinema there was a cinema there as well and I can't remember it was some Stallone film where he was like a sheriff or some shit like that it was the only thing on and the guy that was organising the gig Andy had managed to get me like six cans from the bar and he gave him a bag and he was like take them into the cinema with you I was like so I was expecting this was like half ten at night. <laughs> well, anyway, a lot of Scottish showbiz. Stevenage painting, <laughs> and um, you got that Stevenage can hooked up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I went in as the, the film started, and again it was four Korean guys came in, and it was just me and these four Korean guys, and I ended up giving them a can each. Oh. And they all just sat there watching Stallone getting pissed. It was class. <laughs> Cans in the cinema. There's something phenomenal. We've talked about it before on the pod about. Sneaking a few cans oh, into the yeah. cinema. I used to get, I used to go to Tesco's before a movie and pick like three or four small cans yeah. of like IPAs or, whatever, or beer you hadn't heard of and just drinking them in the cinema. I loved yeah. it. But that was the old me. Yeah, I'm now you can one. drink in a cinema. It's not, it's, not it's exciting. Nah. Yes, it takes that away. You're right. Yeah, like it's it's only fun if you're not allowed to do it. It's yeah, like going yeah. to nightclubs, amazing when you're 16. Yeah. And then the minute you're 18, you're like, these are kind of shit. Um, see, all over, is your gigs all comedy clubs all over Scotland or is it like the main cities because there's a thing here there used to be a thing here where it was just really like Belfast Derry mm. couple of other towns but now it's starting to be like everywhere Oma, Oma was always Oma always Oma had, one. had one yeah. but now there's kind of like st st happening everywhere so if you're a c gigging comedian in Scotland are you like all over Scotland all the time well there's not as many like I mean the, the, the Aberdeen Glasgow and Edinburgh will have a couple each Right, uh, but the problem, like the other ones, I wouldn't say they're clubs; they're nights. Yes, yes. So yes, there'll yes. be maybe a monthly night. Yeah. But there's nothing regular. Like you couldn't. I think it would be hard making a career just staying in Scotland. Right. Like yeah. I don't. I'm. I'm hardly ever really gigging in Scotland a huge amount of times. Right. It's mostly done in England. 
And do you just travel then same day? Uh, ah, it depends, depends when it is. Like, yeah. I've started hiring cars a lot more as well. Right. Um, I've got a thing, like, I was... Uh, I remember I went into the... I got go the same car hire place, and there was a guy... A guy in it was like... He, he knew another promoter, and he was like, oh, and uh, do you know this guy? And I was like, aye, aye, so I got to call him. And then the, the other guy that was in it, he was like, oh, fuck, I've just been watching you on YouTube. And he likes the podcast I do with Ryan Cullen. So after that, I, they started upgrading me, right? Because I always buy the cheapest car. Like, it's like a... a Two four, I go. Five, five, 500 fucking cheapest shit, 15 quid a day. They, like, like, like the sort of car, like, you're 17 and daddy's rich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just you're a, a girl. run around, basically. Yeah. But they've started upgrading me and it gets a better upgrade every time. And it's right. becoming awkward now <laughs> because I'm kind of going, I don't, I don't want this anymore because this is costing me a fucking fortune in petrol. Like, like, oh, yeah. like why are yeah. you giving me the monster truck this weekend? Yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah. like... You're like, showing up for an open spot in Peterborough in the exactly, Lambo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Case of Stella in the boot, yeah. ready to go. Door comes up like that, you're just doing five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, speaking of Ryan Cullen, the funnest thing ever nearly happened. On my stag, we were in the airport, in Belfast International Airport, having a few drinks before we got on the flight. Ryan had been doing a gig in Belfast and was flying on to Edinburgh. Mm -hmm. We were going to uh, Majorca, we were going to Magaluf. Got chatting to him. I went, Ryan, have a drink with us, right? He has a drink with us. I went, do you know what would be 10 out of 10 if you came on my stag? Oh, yes. Last minute, I said, we will we'll book you a flight right now. Come out for three nights and then we'll fly you back to Edinburgh. Flights, we looked it up, flights were going to be like 40 quid. And he just had that moment where he was like, ah, I can't. But looking back on it, we both should have just made it happen. I'm surprised he never did it. But yeah. he said to me since, he's like, fuck, I regret not, Aye, that's not great. doing that. Cause how, I, I didn't get invited in that stag, but just some dude you ran into in an airport gets to go. Yeah, you were 15 at the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, I have to be with you if I'm allowed to drink. Yeah. Yeah. Said, Daddy says it's fine. Kieran was taking you on a camping trip. Um, <laughs> obviously now, things were, uh, you wouldn't go now. But um, no, you, 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 you'd you be invited me, now. You wouldn't want me in your stag, do I, I would. You'd be would there. You? Yeah, 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 you what would. are you like in a stag, do? I've never been on one. You've never been on a stag? Oh, man. But you don't want Willie on a sesh. You know, like on, I don't do you think know what, do you know like what it. always happens by default to him when he drinks? Out of nowhere... Union Jack sunglasses will appear. Like he doesn't it even bring once. them. Wow! It but happened he, once. He's like you remember Kanye was always wearing those like yeah. glasses. Shit. He's like that with like Union Jack glasses. Like it it's like his trademark. One time, everywhere he goes, he yeah. wears Union Jack <laughs> I don't. glasses. Just Irish <laughs> out on them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he loves it. Like <laughs> yeah, loves it. Here's your stag shirt. It says no hard border. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's good crack because we're joking a bit. A bit. Yeah. I kind of mean it, but it's fine. <laughs> I wouldn't I'll, give it to Dave because he would look like he'd wear that shirt. On oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He wouldn't, but he looks like he would. Always looks like you should be standing outside of protest, like, like you know what <laughs> yeah, I mean? Yeah. Pissed. Yeah, de he looks like he, see now he shaved the head, he looks like he serves burgers half time at the Oval, like. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going on what I think is probably going to be the last stag I'll go, one of the last stags I'll go on in a couple of months and I can't wait. Like, Where is it? Magaluf. A Magaluf's the best place. It, it, you have to just park. Yeah. The, you know your snobbery kind of to one side yeah. and just enjoy the fun of what it yeah, is yeah that's where mine was like it's fucking oh yeah we were in we, we didn't did you go BCM yeah yeah oh, oh god man. Yeah. DJ oh, Sammy yeah. phone oh, party fucking amazing man Magaluf's yeah. great crack oh, oh it's just the best place in the we, world we man. went for our first lads well like, get married <laughs> get a time meal order bride <laughs> yeah. right now Dan get, look it up yeah. and then we can we can go to three, yeah. us and Ryan Colin going to yeah. four man stag our first ever just lads. leave today <laughs> yeah. Yeah. first ever lads holiday was a 12 day trip to Magaluf 10 days too long I love I, that I know see by day 8 we were fucking ready yeah. to, we, our friend, we were never friends again after because you that. don't know shit at that time you'd be like I'm bringing 150 euro for 12 days oh, yeah, Magaluf, yeah, yeah, and yeah. you run out of money in day 1 one guy did lose his card first day in had no money for the rest of the he trip he didn't lose his card Jeez. he didn't no he, he didn't go out he, oh, right. We were with him when he was typing the pen. He forgot the pen. And the car just did his or the machine oh, just did his car. And he just sat in the rest of the. The, the highlight of his trip was Tropic Thunder was on one of the channels one night. <laughs> <laughs> and that was his best night. Uh, yeah, like I hadn't been before my stag. I hadn't been to a nightclub in like a couple of years. And DJ Sammy, BCM, mm. phone party. I was like, this is fucking uh, brilliant. We, that same guy who had his car eaten, he did go out one night. 
and he would, he'd not been out in the strip because he'd been stuck in his room the entire time. So when he came out and there's all the girls, like, no, all the girls trying to get in the bars and he was loving it and he was like, he was being too handsy with him. We kept down the stop and he was like, you know, trying to t- touch their bum and all. And we were like, stop doing yeah, that. Yeah, she's weird. like, oh, you you look very smart. And he goes, she's into me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's yeah, the sort yeah, of guy yeah, thinks yeah. they fancy him. Yeah, 100%. Right? And yeah. he's been cooped up in a room pulling a wire of himself. So he's. <laughs> To he's Tropic, re- to tropic <laughs> Thunder. He's ready. Yeah. yeah. And he came out only doing Tropic Thunder the whole time. And then eventually we went down the strip and we couldn't see him. We turned back around to about eight of the PR girls surrounded him. Apparently he'd grabbed, you know, he got a bit handsy with one of them. They grabbed him by the arm, started shouting at him, and the other PR girls came around. And we went back and they were just kicking the fuck out of them. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Like a bully circle. That guy's had like, the shittest trip of all time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like seeing how you like it, and he's grabbing his dick and like twisting it and all. We were like, I'm not helping you. You need to learn. Oh my lesson. god. Got this fucked up. What a fucking did, weak cut guy. Where, did, where did you stand, Magaluf? You remember? Uh, it was at the hotel on the beach. I honestly can't remember at all. We but. stayed in uh, Mallorca Rocks. Right. And uh, there's a like water park in the hotel. Oh, it definitely wasn't that when it was just. It was unbelievable. Oh. We went there. Unbelievable. And, and my day got ruined because I had a wee Rey Mysterio mask on that whole day, having a great time. Jumping You're right, you wouldn't be coming on my stack. I yeah. was having a great time, and then just as I was about to do a big cannonball into the pool, jumped in, met her, smiling, and one of my mates just went, Roddy Piper's just died. <laughs> and they said, met her, you can see me go, what? <laughs> day ruined. Went yeah. from the water park to cry. <laughs> so Roddy Piper died. <laughs> R.I.P. Got it. Yeah. People being like, What's wrong, man? You ought to come down or something? You're nah. like, Nah, an old wrestler, dad. Yeah. Not an old wrestler, yeah. Roddy Piper. Okay. <laughs> was Roddy Piper genuinely Scottish or was no. that a gimmick? No, he was. Uh, I think he was born in Glasgow. Not, he was Canadian, but I think his like, ma had like a Scottish aye, maybe, grandma. Aye. Did mag, he do the accent? Mag of fingered in nah, Glasgow he didn't do the accent. He'd come on with a kilt. He'd come out with a kilt and he aye. could play the bagpipes. Yeah. Well, Anthony in the Wiggles plays the bagpipes and I, I don't know if it's really him. I don't know if it's really him doing it. And it's in my head, rent Which free. Which one's Anthony? The old guy. The bagpipe he's still player. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony's one of the original OG Wiggles, and he's still in it. Wow. But he he's like, he basically owns the Wiggles, him and his brother. Yeah, you think Jesus. it's sad being a comedian on the road drinking a beer? Imagine being one of the Wiggles. Oh, Jesus. man. Jesus. And everyone, all your fans are four, everyone else in the band's 19, and you're 47. Wiggles, apparently in Australia, were doing like over 18s gigs because everyone who used to be into the Wiggles yeah, yeah, shows yeah, up. Yeah. Like, what a night that'll be. A few yeah. beers, go see the Wiggles. Dick and Dom do it as well. Oh, uh, they do, they, they do, they do festivals and shit now as well, but they do an 18 show oh. at the Fringe. You a Wiggles guy? Wigg- nah, not really, nah. I was never in the Wiggles. Fruit salad, yummy, yummy. There would always be the advert, like when you had a video as a kid and then it would end, the Wiggles advert would be on. But that's My the boys only love time the Wiggles. The Wiggles. Like... Really? Oh, wow. Are they still big, the Wiggles? Oh. Well, here's I the was thing. a Dick and Dom kid, which is a mental uh, name for a kid's act. <laughs> yeah. That's a mental name. I am... Um, so the Wiggles had the original lineup year like 30 years ago. They just celebrated the 30th anniversary and brought out a... Uh, anniversary edition of Fruit Salad, uh, Yummy Yummy. That's how well the podcast going, we're doing a deep dive on the Wiggles. <laughs> but what happened was, then the Wiggles popularity was waning. Then they upgraded the cast and brought in Emma, Lockie and Simon, obviously. Uh, bigger than ever. Stop we doing, don't know them. They're doing arenas around the world. But Lockie and Emma got together and Ooh. ended up getting married, but then got divorced. <gasps> now, it would be really Fuck. awkward to go to work with your wife after you get divorced, but what's more awkward is when you're divorced and you have to look at each other and go, fruit salad, yeah. <laughs> yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> and you're smiling, but Lockie was fucking yeah. crying. You could fruit salad, you fat bastard. Yeah. Like, yummy, yummy. Like it's Fleetwood and, Mac of kids TV. <laughs> yeah. but. And, they, and they just, you know what? It just wasn't the same after this. I would love to see divorced Wiggles music though. Yeah. Mm. You only see daddy on the weekends. Yeah. You will. Fruit salad, why'd you leave me? Yeah. <laughs> fruit salad, yeah. now I'm crying. Um, <laughs> But what Heels happened? I only wear a fuck the baby <laughs> setter, didn't you? you t- I'm wearing the mask to cover the bruises. <laughs> <laughs> Sunglasses out in public. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened was they then went on with that cast for a while. Emma left to pursue other projects. I read between the lines. They, kind of, <laughs> they, they made a decision, right? They picked Lockie. Back their own horse, in my opinion. Even though Lockie is kind of a very consistent wiggle. Um, but they've now got this new cast and there's fucking millions of them. But I think what they're doing is the 
Simon, Lockie, Anthony are pairing up with new Wiggles. So they were all different colours. Obviously, Simon's a red Wiggle, Lockie's a purple Wiggle, and Anthony's a blue Wiggle. And they now have another blue Wiggle who'll be with Anthony in certain scenes, and I think they're doing a Passover. Like like the Jackass? Jesus. Crew. Passing of the baton, you know. Um, There's one called, is it Salheim? Like a younger girl? She's like a dancer? She's fucking she's, class. She's, she's from Ethiopia. She's brilliant. She's injecting new life into it, but can I say, maybe at times, too much. <laughs> Reined it in a bit. But she wants to make an impression. She's she's trying to make her own de- uh, legacy. Just with, imagine with you Wiggles. watching the Wiggles and like a wee turtleneck and glasses, like. Mm. No, ma'am, fucking dancing. So oh, really? So there's a new generation of Wiggles that are getting. Yep. At the minute, there's loads of Wiggles. It's 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 quantity over quality, in my opinion. At the minute, sorry, they'll come at me in the comments, the kids. Uh, but <laughs> I think just, I think the Wiggles is just going through a transitional period, and then I think there'll be a new generation of Wiggles. This is a real tone change from the OnlyFans episode. Yeah, I have to balance it out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> See, I was I was a tweenies kid. I was like, do you ever? Were you no, a I don't guy? remember no. that. What were you? A Wiggles kid? No, 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 no. Uh, live and kicking. Uh, Rugrats. Rugrats was good. Only movie that makes me cry. I didn't even see the movie. There's a, Rugrat, a Rugrats film. Yeah, Rugrats in Paris. Never seen. It. Is that not a Jay Z and Kanye West song? <laughs> Yeah, the, the, the Rugrats go to Paris. It's a fucking makes me cry every time. It's Is there funny. not some mental theory about the Rugrats that I know. all exists in like Tommy's head or something? Angelica's like that. head. It's Angelica's head. Yes, yeah. yes. And what's what's wrong with her? Like she's. I don't. I, don't, I mean, I don't think the show ever confirmed this, but it was, <laughs> some loser online was like, basically, they were never born, and Angelica's an only child. And oh yes, them. that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Is there something where the parents don't directly talk to anyone but her or anything like that, or what? Like what's he at? What? What are they looking at and going? It's because she can understand the babies and no one else can. Yeah. So uh, they say Angelica, like Family Guy, kind of. Kind of. So they say Angelica and Fanta. But loads of TV, like there's always weird theories behind. TV Tell you shows. what, that's in my head, Ren Farina. What? The idea that it might just all be an Angelica. Yeah. Series. <laughs> Don't look. Yeah, she's just a lonely, only child. Yeah, yeah. It's a very dark yeah. theory. Don't I think all the, I think all the other babies did exist, but they died. Yeah, that's the full <laughs> theory. That's why I didn't want yeah. to go Imagine at the end of the last episode of the Rugrats, I went, that's right, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Tommy yeah. just looks into the camera and goes, I died. And yeah. just, that's the end of the, ru- yeah. that's the end of the, do, 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 ba, ba, ba. Chucky? Is that him? Yes, Chucky. he was the, I hated Chucky. Oh, fuck him. I used to always hate that character in kids' TV shows where they're like, let's go on an adventure. And he'd be like, oh, I don't know, guys. I'm like, do it. Yeah. This show be shite if you got your way. It'd just be you sitting doing nothing. Go Me on, on tour? Yeah. yeah <laughs> I'm Tommy putting on the wee cowboy hat. Willie like, wants to go on an adventure. Willie wants to go to Weatherspoons at 12. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Stay in a drink tea. <laughs> uh, where, so, you do, so you're doing Limelight tonight yep. on the tour. Can't plug that on this because it will already have happened. But how do you think it will have gone? I, I think it'll have gone all right. You think you enjoyed it? Yeah, I think I did enjoy it. Good. I think, yeah. The pints afterwards were good. It, it was brilliant. Well, I, I came down. It was brilliant. Uh, is Rugrats the mask okay? on? Hmm? Is it selling okay? I think so. Yeah, I don't okay. really check. Yeah, I'm I don't. The I, don't I get because I get you get that with the fringe as well. You get obsessed with because you can check your tickets constantly. It becomes that thing where you're like, yes, I was. I've told this many times in the podcast, but one year when I did the fringe, it was. I don't know if you remember <clears> this. It was like a new group tried to run shows at the fringe, and then it fell apart last minute. So the Pleasants took a load of shows in. There was like mm. eight of us. They were like, you can come on after our last show. So I was doing five past 12 Oof. in the evening, in the Pleasance, in like the, the, the loft or whatever it was. And um, the first few weeks, like you said, the first week, I was every day, can I have a ticket report? And I was killing myself, like full stress. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, what can I do? Realize, like, apart from flyering and social media, you can't really do anything. So what I would say is, don't tell me, mm-hmm. and I'll be behind this curtain. Now, I'm already in the room. There's no backstage. But I'm just at the back of the stage behind a curtain and there's only room enough for me to stand. So every night I went, fuck it, I'll just open the curtain and come out to her. Yeah. 70 seater. And it was very funny to see my face the first time there was fuck all people there because I would come out like it was full. Yeah. And I would come out and then there was one night, I always said in the podcast, two American guys and my dad. Non-exaggeration. That's was what that it? That was a whole... Jesus. But I walked out like, here we go, like, like live at the Apollo, yeah. you know? And I just walked out and remember being like, Right there, and, uh, <laughs> and and these two guys, but it was so much fun. And you did a show, yeah. 
I said to the the guys, who went, listen, full disclosure, a third of the audience is my dad. <laughs> and it's just you guys. And they had taken a punt on the show. They didn't know what it was. So I said, um, why don't I uh, get you guys a refund and I'll take you out for a drink to the Pleasant right. Bar using my dad and come for a drink. And they were like, we want the show. And then I think I said, I would. what if we do, what if I still do that? I'll give you your money back, we'll go for a drink and I'll do a half hour version of the show instead of an hour, Aye. you know? So they were like, yeah, and I sat in the stool and just told stories that were in the show, but told them in more of a story way, not Aye. a stand-up way. And it was great because a load of the stuff in that show was about my dad. So they were like fact-checking it almost. Oh, and then my dad nice. at one point was on his phone and I was like, you can't be Aye. 33% of the audience being on, be your, on phone. your phone. <laughs> and he was bringing up a picture of something to do when I was younger that he had saved wow. to back up one of my stories. He's like, he's not lying, lads. Look, that's brilliant. He was an ugly child. I'm like, well, don't do that. Just um, me, just because it was all photos of him naked. And he's yeah. like, hang on. <laughs> but it was, one of, it was one of the best shows that I did because it was just so out of the ordinary. And they will remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, still, I still online am in touch with those guys. Oh, that's the most unique thing you can possibly out. get. Um, where, so the tour is UK, Ireland. All right. And where, where, what, like, what's like the big homecoming one? Like, what's the big? That's at the show? King's Theatre. Oh, I heard that's great. in Glasgow. Aye, so that's seventeen hundred people. Oh, oh so that'll man. be that'll be good. Aye, that's the very last night. That's the best. So thing yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I always that. wanted to have that. As yeah, there's no worse than you do a big show and then you're in like a, a forty seat. Oh the god, next day. yeah, I've seen people do that. Where like on a Sunday, like yeah. they've done a huge gig on the Saturday and then they've got to go to fucking. Stephen, <laughs> yeah, hello, <laughs> listen, loves it. Aye, <laughs> Aye I'm. Fi- I'll finish the tour, next tour in Stephen. In. It just seems like uh, it's a, or just a residency, just the whole tour. Stephen, you're like Elvis, yes, in Vegas. Oh yes, you and Stephen in that bowling alley, <laughs> and uh, just in the canteen bit of the bowling the Colonel alley. just keeps bringing you cans <laughs> to keep to keep you sedated. Yeah. Limelight's a good venue too because it's where we did Stars and Rest, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, Limelight one. Yeah, it, which. It, we just watch back. So we did like comedian stars and mm-hmm. rise for Patreon. And all the comedians from here, like everybody was up for it. Everybody put so much into it. Like, and we were, normally if we were all doing a gig there, backstage would be so relaxed. Everyone would be chilled. Yeah. All everybody fuckers, was man. breaking it. Like, these fuckers. Willie T. You guys were all freaking out. And I was in the corner drinking beer and eat, like tinning celebrations. Oh, Willie, you're so cool. I was having yeah. a great Sorry, time. we're all nerds and Willie's yeah. cool. I'm, no, I'm not cool. You guys are nerds. Yes, I'm just a wee fat lad eating celebrations. Yeah. Um, this guy, absolutely. This guy won head and shoulders. Like, did you? No debate. Eminem. As Eminem, yeah. Eminem. yeah. What, what song did you do? Uh, Without Me. Oh, nice. So initially I came out dressed terribly as Liam Gallagher to do Wonderwall. You did Fuck the first it. line of it, didn't did you? It, did it really out of time and badly and then ripped it off and had the oh, Robin costume on. Oh, yes. Killed it. It was a That's fun class. time. But what's funny is, like, at the time, so, like, I did The Darkness, I believe in a thing called Love. I've been singing that in my car for, like, three weeks before, and I can hit those notes, right? Mm. Like, I can hit those notes. I got a perfect... Can you? Can you? Okay, just... If you're not being mic. watched or recorded... I believe in a thing called love! <laughs> right? That's not bad. Thank you. That's, That's really right. Now, nice. That's what I was doing in the car. On the night... I'm so nervous, right? And I did it and I was like, won the adrenaline rush. It was amazing. And the crowd are going wild. And this is so great. Willie, head and shoulders won, right? But it was a brilliant night. I think everybody killed and everyone got the crowd going. And it was like, everyone sounded sounded amazing. Everyone was like, we all afterwards were like, everyone sounded amazing. Anyone could have won. We watched back some (laughs) of the footage of Michael's editing room this morning. You know, like, you know when people do TikTok videos and they put up, like, a tourist spot that looks amazing? Yeah. And then they do Instagram versus reality and it cuts to the fact that it's packed and there's a car park in it now and that kind of thing. I watch some of the performances back and you just see a C. It's filmed from the back, the master shot of 700 heads just doing this. The audience oh, like we thought, I thought everyone was like, there's yeah. a marsh picture in my performance. Yeah, 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 yeah. And also... I was hitting notes, but I don't know what they were. Fuck. And I watch it back and I was like, oh man. You know, like maybe the first time you ever do a podcast and you listen to yourself talk back and you go, oh no, yeah. do I sound like that? Um, but it was such a I thought I I was seamless. I flung through everything. I run out of breath three lines. Because I'm eight yeah. these deep at this point. Yeah. yeah, I'm out of breath. Luckily, the crowd knew the song. So anytime I ran out of breath, I just hold the mic to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there is at one point where like I'm like, because it feels so empty. Without me, <laughs> like I am fucked. Patty's is one of my favorites as well. Patty, brilliant. Patty, the prodigy firestarter. Oh, nice. 
Ah, it everybody, was everybody, everybody, like there's not a lot of lines in that song. Yeah, exactly. That's uh, that's so really a easy. lot of it is Patty on the dance floor, almost like do you want a P seven disco? And it's like and now just the boys, and it's just guys on the dance floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just, he falls off the stage almost at one point. We're gonna. It's amazing. So many people that came to it were like, uh, that was the best night of something that we've been yeah. to because they're maybe a fan of the comedy scene, and you're getting to see all the people that you like out of their comfort zone doing something silly absolutely so it was like yeah. a huge like success for us like everyone involved loved it so we're going to do it again maybe towards the end of the year in a different in a different venue yeah. and now everyone's talking about what they're going to do so ahead of time everyone's like I might do this I might do that you know if you were going to do that say you did that in Glasgow what would you what would you do who would you be for Star Wars Race? R. Kelly <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I don't know who I'd do actually do um, trap in the closet chapters 1 to 34 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> ruin the night did you dress up as Justin Hawkins oh yeah, yeah. oh man everyone everyone went full into it with the nice. oh yeah Paddy looked insanely good Keezy looked great as Rag and Bone Man uh, I dressed up as Justin Hawkins right so I wore just like spandex tights uh -huh. white boots I had the fake tattoos on but here's the thing so they were like tight spandex but I'm playing a, I'm playing a guitar but not really playing it obviously uh, and I have it in front of me for the whole thing and then at the end I'm so like the adrenaline the performance and all Andrew because before it everyone was calm, upstairs everyone's talking about obviously wearing tight leggings making all the jokes in the world and then Andrew goes uh, Shane what do you think of that and I was like why don't I reference how tight these were but forgetting that the guitar was covering oh yeah my dick the whole time and I so he went what do you think of that and I said uh, you should have seen it before I got circumcised but that then it didn't make, make sense, sense to the audience who <laughs> yeah. have not seen it. Like, what does that mean? Yeah, do you have a guitar with a hood on? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it was... You, uh, you luckily had a guitar to cover yours. I didn't know until we watched it back. I am packing, like, a full Sunday roast in my trunks, like. Yeah. Why, could, the why have you dressed in tight trousers as M&M? &M? It was the Robin, the Robin costume. Oh, so it was like the box. I knew my, Shit, my bollocks are the most prominent thing. Right. It looks like Churchill's jaw. <laughs> As I'm rapping M and M's, just full. Oh, it's, it's awful. It's one of the first things I noticed. And damn it, yeah, we know. Just like a too. metronome keeping time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks like I was like, you're not taking my XL bully, and I smuggled it <laughs> down the front of my trousers. <laughs> Really, so if you're watching it, on maybe Patreon, Chihuahua in there. <laughs> yeah, if you're, if you're watching it on Patreon, keep an eye out for that. Yeah, it's oh, it's so bad. Um, but yeah, it was a hell of a lot of fun. We're gonna do it again. Yeah, in the, in the Ulster Hall, maybe. Are we done? Maybe that's a great idea. Or that's Donald Ice, great. but we don't know. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. Um, Mark, people will find you online, all that kind of thing. Yep, Mark Nelson, Mark Nelson comic. Any Bet other famous Mark, Mark Nelson Nelsons? Comic. Is there anyone else? If you look, there's up Mark a. There used to be a guy that was in a boy band. I can't remember what boy it was. It was a very successful boy band, and there's a he was still a boy band. Hmm? He was still in a, don't take that away from me. Oh no, he's still in a boy band. band. Yeah, yeah. Um, it wasn't A one. It was something like that. But uh, well, that, it sounds like then, we're talking good level. They, they was Same old right. brand new you. Great song by A one. Oh yeah, that's right. And there's, doing a, Star Wars next year. there's a, an American football player <coughs> called Mark Nelson, right? The quarterback. But I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah. As far as I know. Dan, any word on the boy uh, Mark Nelson boy band? Mark's paid to have his uh, SE, paid for SEO work to have it scrubbed yeah <laughs> um, Willie T you got anything you want to plug from? oh sorry sorry by the time this comes out will there, what tour shows will be left uh, so when will this be out uh, not this sort of 12 days time 12 days time there's a lot of separate in Glasgow so that King's Theatre show yeah King's Theatre yeah a few when is yeah that? it's 22nd of March okay so we'll, aye, that's, we'll link into your tour that would be awesome that's a big one the 22nd of March so if you're in Glasgow then Absolutely, go to that. I mean, it won't be announced yet, but fuck it, I'll say it here because it's good promotion. Oh, exclusive. exclusive. Oh, exclusive. I'll be doing the waterfront on December yes, 13th. Yes, really. oh, oh, oh. oh. Say it again yes. for the people in the back. We at waterfront December 13th, 2000 tickets. Please buy some. I fucking need 2000, to. 2000, that's fucking A little bit amazing, under, but I'm, man. I'll embellish it. Do you know what? I might do a 50 cent jar rule thing. What? Buy all the tickets and it's just me there. <laughs> Oh, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Then it's I'll just, just I'll chat to you for an hour and take the money. I'd rather that it's me, my dad, and those two Americans. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so but we're in the that. back row. Yeah. yeah. Also around. I'll the day. come with those Asian guys. We'll, we'll bring <laughs> cans. <laughs> Hello. Wow. <laughs> 
And also on the day of WrestleMania, me, Dave Elliott, Alan Orman, Ronan Linsky, Jasmine Sierra are doing a wrestling panel show. Oh, class. Oh, the, class. In the black box. So come to see a question of sports entertainment. Are you gutted CM Punk won't be in the... Fucking don't even. Near started crying. Raging. Comes back after 10 years, gets injured immediately. Heartbreaking. Yeah. I don't think he is injured. Do you think it's a work? I think it is a work. Eh? Mm, I hope it is. What are you trying to say about wrestling? If he's injured, he's injured. Listen, oh, that's what you think. Like, like the Undertaker it. died, yeah, yeah. twice, <laughs> yeah. many times. Yeah. yeah, Vince may as well be dead. We'll yeah. say that. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, <laughs> what? I'll leave it there. I'll leave it there because he's coming on the live. At two <laughs> dirty bastard. <laughs> Vince, you're a dirty bastard. Yeah, hang on, you like a wee shape now, don't you? Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> what are you doing, you dirty bastard? Put your phone away, you can't be trusted for fuck's sake. <laughs> Guys, thank you very much for coming uh, on the podcast. Oh, what did I do? I know. <laughs> I, 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 thank do you. Do you know what I did? I nearly went like this. That's and the then realized thing. I never do that. I, I went to do this and then realised I never do that so I chickened out and did this yeah. but thank you very much for coming <laughs> on the podcast guys 